Yo guys, what's going on and welcome back to another episode of the Valencia career mode. We are on episode number four now and things are not looking good. We got an absolute spanking against Barcelona in the previous one and also losing to Real Betis. So it's time to try and hit some good form, play some good football and get back up that league. We are pretty much in the thick of it as we have our first game against Atletico Madrid and that is going to be a very tough one. So let's have a little goosey gander at the calendar and see what we've got and what we've got on. So we'll skip the two days, of course. We will play Real Sociedad and then, oh, press the wrong button. We will then potentially skip the game against Rayu into Celta Vigo. And yeah, that seems to be the plan. We'll go into that. So we'll play the two games and then we'll we'll skip the last one, which is going to be Rayu. Brings into a complete different month. We play another three games, the next one. And then we head into this horrible, horrible month of January, which will be Espanyol, Real, Sevilla, Atletico Madrid. That is going to be a very tough month. But let's get into the main one and get into the month that is today. And we are going to play Atletico Madrid. We, all, we, have, we have two injuries, as you saw in the previous one, guys. How the Costa got injured and uh, Guillemon got injured as well. So we're going to go to team management, change them up, get them out of the team. As unfortunately, Brian Gill is going to come in. I say unfortunately because he's been playing really poor for us. So I'm not... Not too impressed with what he's been doing. And then we're going to take out Guillemon. And we're going to bring in... Where is the man? Mariba. And then take him off as well as we bring on from the bench. Uh, Guzlobez is going to bring, come on as well. And that is the team that we're going to rock for the Atletico Madrid one. It's time to play the beautiful game. And get this team playing well. Oh my god. Look how nice it looks in Spain. Oh, that's a bad pass. I said beautiful football, and then it ends just like that. They do play it short. As Lemur is going to get it out a very fast and talented player with his feet. So we've got to be careful there. As Musa gets a great tackle in off the wing. And we're going to push forward now with him. Just got to find something now. Find that pass. Find that play. What we've been lacking as well is the, uh, the good movement inside the pitch as well. As them passes are so over hit all the time. We've got to really lock that down i feel like passing is so bad on our off and i say that nearly every episode now look at look how like high pressing they are it's so good it, it is absolutely brilliant from like the, the opposition each time they just try and eliminate the ball from us not let us get a pass off it's brilliant play and it really makes me think of what i need to do and how to get this team playing better as once again straight on as i can't get the ball through in the middle i generally cannot get that ball through the middle at any stage and that is really making me think and i'm a big fan of it and that's what's making me enjoy this game even more like i've not been a fifa fan for a while because ultimate team was just taking it out of me all the time but now playing this career mode I fell back in love with FIFA and enjoying football games. And we are going to try our best to do these achievements. All challenges that I'm setting myself. On Ultimate as well, because that's the way I like it played. Nice and odd, so we know that we're not going to win every game. And that's the main thing of this save as well, is that you don't know that we're going to win every single game. That's a great knock from Hermo. So, done well. It's a great save, Sellison, yet again. Referee! I was about playing Menzi then. I was about playing Menzi then, and that would have been a through one goal and a potential pass across the box for a one nil. Was it meant to be? I see the overlap. I see the back stick. I see it there. Oh, what a block that is. And ball. No. Okay. I don't have and balls on, just so you know, guys. I think and balls kind of ruins it. Uh, you get way too many free freakishly and balls, so I don't play with and balls. As the overlap's on, the block. Oh. I knew it was coming. I knew it was coming. It's going to be a corner, though. As Atletico look to counter-attack here from the corner all the way down. Looking dangerous on this wing. They're playing a lot on this side of the, the pitch as well. As we're not going to get that ball. Are you kidding me? Don't, find, don't let me have a pass. Don't let me find the pass. Don't let me find the pass. Good block. Good block again. Two instrumental blocks there. Keeping it out on the stroke of our time as well. We've got to deal with this before the whistle goes. And we should be fine if we do. It's a good edit, but it's over the bar. That is fine. Referee blows for the half-time whistle. We take that. It's a good off. We just need to be more creative with our passing and our creative style to get in front of the goal and get shots off. We've not had a shot yet, and we've not tested this goalkeeper. Oh, it's a bad tackle. Going to be a shot on. 
and Suarez smashes it in the back. I was playing it out, and I just, like, I kind of sighed as a bad pass, and Suarez doing what Suarez does best. He knows how to put in the ball in the back of the net, and he rifles it in, finding acres of space, and it was just a, such an easy one. A bad pass there from us, which is absolutely shocking, like normal. And when you leave Suarez that much room, and, like, the center off's not even in the way of trying to get the ball off him. He's just got to rifle that in the top bins all day, every single day. Too easy. Suarez made it look too easy as well. 1-0, and this is going to be another loss on our hands if we don't book up our ideas and start passing the ball a lot better than we have done before. Everything is just, like, last step. Poor. As we bring this forward, though. Guedes. 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 Oh, good save from All Black. So they're playing a little bit safer. Ball comes through with Lemire. Just correct. Yeah, he's too fast. He's too fast. Good goal. Yeah. I knew. As soon as he was through on goal, th these don't miss. These do not miss these chances. These players are too good. They do not miss. And he's hit on the outside of his boot and just found at the top bit. You can't get any. You can't get any sweeter than that. 2 0 off the two shots that they've had. It's fair play. We carry on and we try and go again. Too, too clinical. Team is way too clinical. We need to stop this. We need to learn how to play football with this team. We are not doing that. We're just getting scared and then just passing the ball up and hoping something clicks. As a great pass through. 3-0. They shoot. They score. It's simple as that. They find space. We don't find space. We just pass the ball back to him and go, have another shot on goal. Have another shot on goal. Oh, you want a shot? You have a shot. He's look like Oprah. We're just giving shots out everywhere. It's a great finish. Absolute great technique. But this could be another 5-0 situation as the goalkeeper is left stranded by his front post and Lemur just smashes it in and does a fantastic job of it yet again as the clinicalness out of the goalkeeper's reach triples the lead in quick succession as well. It's like the floodgates have been opened. We do not have any beavers building a dam to stop this from overflooding. Like that one to Guedes. All oh, black. Jeez Louise. Man, out of the blocks, straight away, mopping that ball up and saying, uh-uh, this is, this is my clean sheet. Guedes, though, ball over the top, Guedes touch, Guedes it, there's one, there's one, that's what we need. Bad pass from the goalkeeper, gives us a chance, I've skipped the highlight, sorry. <laughs> yeah, we're in it, come on, we're back in there, 3-1. Don't do what we did with Betis and let them straight back in and score another one. If we get one more, we've got a big chance of putting the pressure on again, a momentum switch for an hour away. Can we get another break on the go? No, we can't. That pass in the center yet again caused us absolute havoc. The 4-4-2 is just being counter-attacked and we can't get anywhere near it. Is that a great play? He's offside though, isn't he? Ref, he's not offside. Are you kidding me? Right, come on now. Look, there's nothing on and the high press just... The high press just does us, man. I can't get anywhere with the, this team. It's so well-structured and just destroys us. Sosa gets a great block, though. He's offside. As Atletico Madrid bring this out now. Great play down the center. They got, ooh, they got Griffo. Great signing. Griffo is a quality signing for Atletico Madrid. And De Paul is as well. Suarez, great play. Ooh, tipped over from Silicon yet again. Too easy, man. Well, they are passing through us so easily. Look how many plays they've got back. They know they're winning, so it's really hard to break this as they fly down this wing like the flying V. We're going to find the pass there. Oh, that touch is so poor. Everything was perfect apart from that touch. Unlucky for us then. We cannot get the intelligence of this team is crazy good. It really is, and they are just cutting us up and dissecting it as bit by bit by bit as Griffo gets that ball. He's only going to keep it. They're winning by two goals. They are just going to waste time now. Simple as that. Let the referee blow the whistle. And it's going to be game over as we play this out. And there it is. We lose 3-1. And another defeat on our hands in the La Liga. This is not good. We are struggling. We can't play football. Only bringing in a Kanji might have been a bad decision for me. We should have brought in a more creative and more flair players. But we might have a look at the tactic for the next one. And change this up because it is not working. As you can see, guys, we are currently sitting 12th in the league. This is not good at all. We are sitting on 15 points. And our dream of Champions League is the 29 points. We are 14 points off the drift here. That is not good at all. It's so poor and we need to up our game and run the same amount of games as Real Madrid as well. Luckily, we have a game in hand on Espanyol. So we might be able to crawl three points back there, but that'll only be 11 points and we need a massive turnaround in this next half of the season.
Great, I'll show you his dad next, which is an away leg, which is going to be a tough one. And we have changed the formation. I've only made one tweak to it, and that has gone from the 4-4-2 to the 4-4-1-1. Guedes is going to drop back. He's playing as a centre forward, not a striker, a centre forward, which hopefully that will give us another option to get a ball passed into him, and we can play off him there and create some stuff. Maximiliano Gomez is still going to be remaining the striker. He can still get in behind with his pace, and he can finish the ball as well. That should really structure up the possession base of our game and pass it around and introduce more players into the game. That's how it's going to be. Let's see if this change works as we head into a massive game against Real Sociedad now and we need three points desperately. We are in our famous grey and orange kit, which we know we are not a fan of. I think the last time we played in this, we got absolutely destroyed and I think it was because of the kit. But we're going to see what we can do and how we can do it and try and prevent Real Sociedad from absolutely tearing us apart as Porto is going to come down this right hand side. He's got a lot of pace in him as well, so we've got to be careful. This little standing still, like, and moving is not, a, I'm not a big fan of it. Uh, it's, it confuses the living daylight out of me, so I'm a little bit scared. As Brian Gill makes a great run, plates into the center. Yes. One more. Yes. Guedes. Look at Guedes there. He's now part of the attack. I'm a big fan of this. As one twos come along, and Guedes, oh, ho, 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 Guedes in his new position, rifles it in the back of the net, and he's a great start for us this time. A fantastic goal, and the CF linking up with the play and doing what he does best. So let's go. Great start and a great tactical formation change. You don't get better starts than that. You really don't. After this, the tweak of the tactic, and then Guedes in his new position gets a goal. I am over the moon as we got another chance here. As Musa, oh, Musa, unfortunately, tries a little bit of dazzle with his legs and his feet. Can't confuse the defender as he just watches on easily and just takes it off him. As they're going to break now. Oh, great interception for Paulista. Let's go. Musa using his pace again. Can he find the gap? Yes, he can. Guedes is there. Brian Gill overlapped. Too much unlucky. Big interception there from Sully. We're going to play the through ball, Brian Gill. Can we find the pass? Yes, we can. Great pass for Musa over there on the wing. Bit of a heavy touch. Moribia, way too... He feels like a barge when he moves. That is not good. Hey, what are you doing? Carrera. Oh, he's done a Man United and got confused with the kit, hasn't he, with the fans. He thinks the fans was a part of the team. Can we get a kit change at half time, please? Anyone? Kit man, please. Thank you. Yep. Yeah. Good pre oh, what? No, no. What a ball through. How's he missed it? Oh, a kanji. No. <laughs> How has that happened? How has that just become a goal? Oh, on the stroke of our time. An extra added time as well. What was that? The, oh, the slide tackle come in, missed. And then a Kanji tracking back like a machine. Gets the tackle. Only come back to him. And then he just rifles it in. I don't believe it. I honestly don't believe it. Well, I've got the time wrong because it was the 30th minute. I completely got the time wrong there. Okay. Are we going to... What? Okay. Okay. Great, great tackle, I guess. Fair play. Cleared away. But only... Oh, I thought Brian Gill was going to get that. Unfortunately, he does not win that header. This is going to play out now. Come on, boys. We need to put the pressure on. Last three minutes of this half. Can we get the pressure on and grab a goal that we fully deserve in my eyes? That was just a freak. Oh, I've dragged my player out. So that is my bad. Akanji's going to have to do some tracking here. Dragged out of position. Akanji's going to have to deal with Porto as he plays with his great feet. He's got well in Akanji. Tremendous play. Right, let's break. Let's break. Find something. Oh, the referee blows a whistle as we're about to break. We couldn't get through to it. And we go into this half. 1-1. One, one. It's an unfortunate freak event that's happened. And one of them in football where you just go, okay, you can't you can't complain of that. It, it's happened. It's one of them things. It's football. And that is why we love football because these things do happen. So let's get in the second half. Continue our passing play that we are because we're playing really better now. Much better than we were before. Get into it. See how we do. And play some more football. The burst of pace these players have is quite scary. It really is. They are so, so fast as we do get a nice interception there. I was going to try and play this ball out. Oh, there was a pass on, but I, I wasted the opportunity again. As Brian Gill makes a fantastic run down this wing. We've got players all over the place. Miliano! Oh, what a save from Matt Ryan yet again. Fantastic save. And it's a great error as well. Unfortunately, it wasn't meant to be. As we're going to call Brian Gill in here short. Plays it to him. 
A great interception, simple as that. Read it like a book. Rico having nothing. Like, just get out me get out me system. Get out my zone. You're not even welcome here. And now they're gonna break with it. Oh no, they're not. Maximilian Organo uh, Gomez. Referee hacked at him. There's too much going on. I couldn't commentate on it. As that the ball breaks out and we get it. And we're gonna calm it down with Brian Gill. Maximilian with a chance. He finishes it. Please tell me he's on side. He is on side. Yes, I was waiting for this. There was too much going on. I was like, oh no, is he on? Is he off? Is he on? As I was there, just like thinking. But it was a great ball from Guedes in that position again, that center forward, playing the ball in for Maximiliano, and he just slots it away. If you look here, great pass and a great holding run for Maximiliano, and he just cuts it across the goalkeeper and gives us back that lead that we fully deserve. That's a great interception for Mariba. We're going to break with this now. What can we do? Can we try and get something special from this and get another goal? We're going to build up this play nice and easy. Look for the passes that are on. Oh, that's not on. Oh, yes. Well, in saw you. Well played. That's a great pass again. Good running back from Musa as well. Just there. It's all the offside. There's a space. There's a... Oh, that's a great tackle. <gasps> What's going on? Penalty! We finally... Oh, re redemption for penalty. Let's go. This is our time. Let's put this away. Finish this game off, hopefully, with this one. Is that a Mr. Guedes on the penalty? I'm going to go up here. That's my penalty. That's my penalty. Come on, Guedes. Get in there. And we go. But, oh, it's Soler. Sorry. Soler. Thank you. 3 1. Big, big, big performance here. It's a cool, calm, collective penalty. Sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. And it's easily done. It's a 3 1 lead. We're going to take it short. See what we can do. Find Brian Gill. He's going to hit it. No, good block. It was a poor, poor, poor decision there from us. We should not have gone for that. And he just blocks away. And we get this ball, though. Picked up with our center off. Paul Easter brings it out. That is great play as well. Just drags the player out, plays it on. We play some lovely football here as the turn. He hits it. Oh, my days. Maxi Bailey. Oh, no. Mwah. What a finish that is, lad. What a turn. What an hit. And what a result this is going to be. 4 1. Woo. Go on, then. I'll have another watch of that. I think we all will. What a finish. Come on, just hit it. Stop the suspense. You're killing me, man. You're killing me. <laughs> Get in there. 4-1. Good play from Sociedad. They do find the pass in the back. Porto's there. We've got to get the block on. Because we don't want another one coming through. Oh, good blocks as well for Akanji doing what he does in there. Getting the blocks in. Throwing his body in the way and stopping the goal. Good knock. Oh, I was going to call the keeper out, but that was not the, not the play. As Rico again on this wing. But it's a good block from Carrera. It's going to be a corner. Kareem's going to get on the right. We've just got a lot of time with this ball now, it seems like. As we do find a good pass, but it's another... i tell you what, Rico, I am very much wanting you in my team as a bad pass comes through there. We're going to play the through ball. Can we get one more? Can we get one more? Yes, we can. A great interception. And we just break on that, showing our counter-attacking football. And we finally score a lot of goals. It's about time that we answered back after us conceding so many. And this 5-1 is just putting a statement on the league that's saying... We're not done yet. Oh, no, 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 no. We've got a lot of fight back in us. Once again, we do nice build-up play. There's loads of... Oh, there was loads of room there. And it was a very poor pass. And it could have led to six, really, because we would have been one-on-one. -on -one, but it was a poor pass from our players. And we've got to track back now and defend this, as we do not want to concede anymore. We conceded one, which was bad enough. We'd want to keep a... Well, I say had a clean sheet, but we can't. But we've just got to aim on our defense. Good block there, as well as we play really defensive football now so i don't know how he's turned his in there and it's come all the way through we need the block good block in there polista unfortunately he's going to fall to him it's a good save from silly said well played only for the corner oh but the referee blows for the final whistle sorry guys i thought it was, I was i was getting set for a corner but the referee was like nah you're not having your corner this one's over it's 5-1 don't even worry about it as we get a massive result in a 5-1 win against real social dad and that is absolutely fantastic because this is the three points that we desperately need and hopefully the momentum to then lead in into more results like this. With that three points, guys, we go into Rayu now. We are going to quick sim this one and hopefully we can get a win because that win pushed us up to 10th and another one could push us up to 9th and we can just keep building on this. So let's try and get another win on here. We're going to keep that same formation, the 4-4-1-1. Rakit comes in instead of Moriba because he's just so much better than him and taller and more strength. He looks really good and good on the ball. So we're going to keep that one, see if we can get a win and try and keep the momentum. 
would Sim is getting us down. That is no way as Bebe as a Manchester United Bebe and school pastors. I feel ashamed. Look at this. Oh my. Look at the possession and the shots and chances. And we've only scored one to their two. Wow. 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 We, uh... Oh dear, guys. That is not good. That is not good at all. We, we should be winning them games. They are games that we should be winning no matter what. Whether we have got a sim or a, a non sim, we should be winning them games. But what I'm going to show you now, guys, is. Where's the calendar? I'm going to now turn these games or these episodes into monthly episodes. So next month, I'm going to sim the whole of this month. I think that's what I'm going to do. Or I'm going to play them offline uh, and just sim, sim, sim straight through them. So when I come back, we have this month, which is going to be January, which is going to be Espanol, Real Madrid, Sevilla, Atletico Madrid. Three massive games that we, we need to win because they're all the ones up there. So that's what we're going to do for the next one guys it's been an absolute pleasure thank you very much for joining me on this episode if you did like the episode please leave a like it and subscribe down below it means absolutely the world to me and leave a comment let me know how we're getting on do you reckon we can still achieve europe or if we lost too many games they're going to cost us a very very dear position there maybe we just try and get europa league now i don't know what the plan is but things are taking a turn for the worse and we need to improve them and that Sochi Dead Game was the one for us. But if you do want to see more content from me, head over to Twitch, www.twitch.tv, forward slash tick147, and you'll see more content from me. And guys, once again, thank you very much for joining me. I'll catch you all next time. Much love and bye-bye.